In North Carolina, Helene has brought significant uh, devastating flooding into parts of the state, especially in the western part of the state. So here again with more is Katie Webster, Assistant Director of North Carolina Emergency Management. Katie, thank you so much for making time for us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Well, we want to talk to you about the current situation here. The damage in western North Carolina has been severe. Where's the worst of the flooding and the power outages? Yeah, well, we're, we are in full response mode in North Carolina, and really the damage is concentrated across the mountains, especially the Blue Ridge Escarpment across western North Carolina. That's where we're seeing the very concentrated amounts of flash flooding, uh, infrastructure damage, closed roads, and impacted infrastructure across that entire area. Um, really, it's, it's spread across western North Carolina, but a lot of those, uh, the heavier impacts are concentrated across the, the far south mountains. And how are emergency management directors responding to Helene and uh, what are the greatest needs at this point? Well, they are certainly busy today. Uh, we have really been focusing both at the local and the state level on response life-saving missions. Uh, we've got a number of swift water rescue teams, about 31 swift water rescue teams, including some from outside of North Carolina that have have come to North Carolina via the Emergency Management Assistance Compact to help us with those resources and the, those life-saving missions. Um, we've got a number of federal uh, urban search and rescue teams that are here really helping us at that both the state and local level to focus on the heaviest impacted areas, getting into those areas with the most damage and focusing on life safety at this point. What should residents do to stay safe with floodwaters and other damage nearby? I think unfortunately, most of all the fatalities that we see are related to flood related deaths due to driving. And so I think it's paramount to not travel unless you have to. And um, we've already had a couple of fatalities in North Carolina already. Uh, we will not be surprised if we if we unfortunately see additional ones, but that can be prevented by not driving through flooded water. So I think uh, above all, do not drive if you have to. In fact, uh, the governor has issued some statements about really limiting travel, if at all possible, especially across western North Carolina. And that's being uh, that's being also projected by the North Carolina Department of Transportation, really limit travel. Um, and then, of course, if you are in, in need, uh, reach out to your local communities, but do not overuse 911. If it's not a life-saving mission, do not uh, use 911 for those types of calls because uh, we've seen we're seeing locals uh, inundated with types of calls. We've got uh, cellular outages, and so those calls are being rerouted. Uh, because of that, we really want to make sure to focus on those who need help most. Um, so really, don't travel unless you absolutely have to. Very well said. Well, that is uh, uh, really good advice there. We appreciate all that you have had to share. and We wish you and others in North Carolina, the emergency responders side to the civilian side, the absolute best here. Uh, Katie Webster, uh, Chief Meteorologist and Assistant Director of uh, North Carolina Emergency Management. Thanks again, Katie. Thank you.